it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Spiegel Mum Scraps and I'm going to work with one of the pigment splash kits, it's called Home Sweet Home. Um, you get three shimmers products in this, you get a sequin mix and a couple of ribbons. Um, I'm going to use two different sequin mixes with it, I'm going to use Gold Medallion and the North Pole and create a Christmas layout. Um, so I'm going to pop a link in the description box below to the Spiegel Mum store. If you shop via that link you will save yourself 15% at checkout, uh, it's automatically applied at the end, it will take that 15% off for you um, and you'll get 15% off of everything including the pigment splash kit that has just been restocked. Um, so do save that link somewhere safe. Um, I'm using a cut file today as well. It's by an Etsy store called Scraps for Days Designs. I'll pop a link to that down below as well. Um, and I've cut the cut file on white cardstock and I'm using the gold shimmers paint from the pigment splash kit to colour it gold. Um, so it's an inklings and it's called good as gold. Now inklings are um, a hard paint so you have to spray a little bit of water in or add a little bit of water and just mix it up with your paintbrush just to kind of activate it and turn it into a wet paint. Um, and then once you finish leave the lid off and let it dry so that it doesn't go mouldy. Um, but I'm just going to cover the whole of the cut file in this gold just to add a bit of shimmer. So I skipped forward a little bit here for you. Um, I just took my heat gun and dried my cut file, get that paint nice and dry. And I've also backed the three H's in the cut file with patterned papers from Simple Stories Jingle All The Way collection. Um, that was the 20. 20 Christmas collection I think. I've still got loads of that left. Um, one of my favourites and it works really well with gold. I love mixing it with gold. Um, so as soon as I saw the pigment splash kit I, and the gold paint I pulled this collection out to use. So I've backed the letters, the H's with the pattern papers and I'm backing two of the O's with my photos, the top and bottom one and just trimming those round and then that middle O I'm going to turn into a sequin shaker pocket and add both sequin mixes in, not the whole packs um, but I am going to mix uh, a bit of each one in there. So onto my shaker pocket now, I'm going to apply some glossy accents to the back of my cut file there just around the O and I'm going to add some acetate to that. Now I am going to walk away for a bit and let that dry before I try and trim it down, otherwise I just end up with glue smooshed everywhere. Um, but that's your first step, you want to get your acetate down. If you don't have acetate, a bit of packaging will probably work just as well. Um, but if you do want to use acetate, you can buy that from Spiegel Mum. Again, that discount code, uh, discount link in the description box will get you that 15% off of that as well. And you can actually get sequin shaker pocket starter kits from um, Spiegel Mum, which is really handy. So that's now dry. Um, I did pause the video whilst I did that. It didn't dry that quickly. Uh, I left it for about 20 minutes just to be sure. And I'm now trimming around the O just to get rid of the excess acetate. The next step then is to actually create a pocket for the sequins to sit in. So I'm going to use some um, adhesive craft foam for that. Now Spiegel Mum sell um, a tape foam which is brilliant. It's called the Big Mama Foam Tape Roll. Um, I absolutely love the stuff but it was a bit too thick for um, my cut file today. It's quite a thin, intricate cut file. And where the Big Mama tape is really sticky, which is really good for a shaker pocket, um, it always gets stuck to my scissors when I'm trying to sort of make it thinner. So um, it was just a bit easier for me today to use that craft foam. And I've added a strip of that all the way around the O, and now I'm filling that pocket in with sequins. So I've added the gold medallion mix first, and then I'm adding some of the North Pole now. I'm trying not to get those big white iridescent um, snowflakes in. I just wanted to get some of the red, green and white ones just to match the um, colours in my patterned papers. And I'm just mixing those around in there um, getting them nicely um, sort of dispersed with the colour. And then I decided that I wanted to make the pocket a little bit deeper to give the sequins a bit more room to move and shake. So I'm just adding a second layer of that adhesive foam there. Um, and then I'm going to pop some glossy accents on the back of that again 
and then I'm just going to add a piece of white patterned paper oh sorry white white patterned paper what am I saying white cardstock um just to the back of that and then I'm going to leave that to one side for a little bit to dry um, I've done this so many times when you stick it down and you turn it straight over and all the sequins fall out because it hasn't had time to stick and I don't know why I do it but I, I do seem to do it quite often um, so this one I am going to put to one side whilst I work on my background a little bit Now I can't draw around my cut file because it's um, drying. So I've taken the negative part that the cut file came from and just used the internal bit to draw, um, which was really handy. And now I'm spraying the Shimmers Vibes product we get in that pigment splash kit. It's a Vibes and it's called Rose Gold Red. And it's this lovely deep red, but it's also got, it's almost like gold glitter ground up in it um, when it dries it's just got this shimmery kind of iridescent gold look to it really really pretty so I've sprayed that directly onto my background I haven't bothered with gesso because I'm not adding any water um, I've just sprayed it because I wanted to get that spray effect you know when you spray something close and then you get all the kind of dotty bits I wanted that effect and then I've just used a piece of empty packaging just to kind of smush the ink around a little bit more and now I'm using one of the ribbon trims that we get in the pigment splash kit just to make a bow to sit on my layout. Um, the first one didn't work too well, so you'll see me make it a second time in a minute. Um, it probably isn't much different to the first one, to be honest, but I was just, you know when you want something perfect and it wasn't quite perfect. So um, I had a second attempt, but really easy to do, just wrapping the ribbon around your fingers, you can make this kind of double bow. And I was going to make two because you get two ribbon trims in the pigment splash kit but it actually turned out a bit bigger than I um, kind of imagined it would so I thought that two would look a bit much on the page so I'm just going to stick with the one in the end and I use this lovely red and gold ribbon Um, works really well with my cut file and also that um, vibe spray that I've put on my background. And I'm going to get that ribbon stuck in place with some red line tape. This is also from Spiegel Mum. Um, great stuff. It's much stronger than your average double-sided tape. So if you've got something that's like fabric or something you really want to hold, like a shaker pocket, for example, um, that red line tape is brilliant. So because my shaker pocket obviously has added some depth behind my cut file, I need to raise the rest up on foam now so that it sits level on my background. So I'm just trimming down loads of cards, uh, cardstock, loads of um, adhesive foam here. And again, I could have used a big mama foam tape roll, but um, I just felt like that would have used a lot and it would have been wasteful. So I've just gone with the craft foam instead. I have a lot of this stuff, so um, I won't miss it. Whereas the big mama foam tape roll, I'd much rather save to use on my shaker pockets because it is brilliant stuff. So I'm just adding some double-sided tape to the back of all things now and I'm going to turn that over and get that stuck in place. And I absolutely love how this is looking so far. I just love gold with this collection. So that gold inklings, the it's called Good As Gold, that and the gold sequins just work so well with this collection. Um, I could go on about it all day because I just love gold with this collection. Um, but that's all sort of in place and stuck down now. I'm just working my way through the collection, having a look at what I've got left um, and bringing some bits in it to embellish. So those are some foam sticker poinsettias. I've just stuck three of those um, sort of scattered around the page. I've got a chipboard fa la la. Uh, it's kind of a little bunting banner type piece. That's just gonna hang from the bottom of that middle H. And then I think I'm gonna go through the sticker book as well and just pull a couple of bits out of this. Um, I did contemplate cutting, cutting sorry, a load of poinsettias from patterned papers, but I didn't want to overload the page. That uh, cut file is quite large. Um, I've also got two photos on the page, so I didn't want to add a massive amount more. I just wanted kind of small, subtle details here and there. 
So I'm adding a tab to the middle H there just to the side just to bring in a bit more colour and pattern. I felt like all the other letters had something near them or going on with them so I needed something on that side. I've got a little string of fairy lights there that I've put on the other H. I think I'm going to stick um, yeah, a couple of, of winter berries, little sprigs there in those corners and then some heart stickers. And then as usual with me, I've started and I don't know when to stop. So uh, I've got a card on the bottom there with a present stack on the roof and then a little kind of sign at the top there. I think it says something like North Pole and Grotto. And um, I've just stuck that on the other H. And now I'm just going to add a few more of the sequins just in a few areas, just clusters of three. And I'm going to pick out a gold, a red and a green and just add those in several places around the edge of my cut file. And I have to tidy it as I go, otherwise I end up with sequins everywhere. Um, and I'm just going to finish off my page now with the final shimmers product we get in that splash kit. So it's an original shimmer, so it's a wet paint. Just give it a good stir with your paintbrush before you use it, because all the shimmer kind of sits at the bottom. So just mix all of that in. This one's called Evergreen, um, and again, perfect for Christmas. You get red, green, and gold in that collection, so it's just absolutely perfect. Um, and I just watered that down slightly just to make it a little wetter, and then I've added some splatters all around the outside of my cut file. And that is me done today. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this layout and the process. Like I said, this pigment kit has just been restocked. So it's over in the store now. If you want to use the link in my description box below, you will save yourself 15% off your entire order. Um, and you can use that link repeatedly. It won't expire. It's not a one-time use. You can use that as many times as you like and you'll save 15% off your order every time. So save that link somewhere safe. Um, and also in the description box, I will pop a link to our Spread the Sparkle Facebook group as well if you're not already in the group do head on over and join because you'll find loads of inspiration um, obviously from the design team and members of the group um, and also updates on products from Jodie and Sarah as well so I'll leave that link below as well but thanks for joining me and I shall see you next time